This podcast is part of the A3K Network. For more information, visit www.anime3000.com. What's up, everybody? You're listening to the Two Guys in the Mic podcast. I'm Jameer. What the heck happened in my childhood, Durham? And joining me in the show will be the laughing man himself, Michael Martinez. We're dedicated to giving you the best in anime news, reviews, and convention coverage. We can also be found hosting the A3K podcast on Anime3000.com. Now join us as we reminisce about Toonami. Welcome to the Two Guys in My Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Jameer Durham, and joining me is... Michael the Laughing Man Martinez. All right. So uh, this podcast, in general, is uh, about the death of Toonami. Many of you have seen Toonami on uh, Cartoon Network or, you know, uh, well, it only came on Cartoon Network. Mike and I are going to discuss Toonami, what it meant to us, um what it meant to a lot of other people and why it being canceled really it, it, it was kind of uh, a, a really had a really bad effect on Cartoon Network as a whole. Um, Mike, what are your uh, what are your feelings about Toonami? Like, what do you remember most about uh, Toonami being on TV? I remember the Rising Sun, man. Oh, that was the like, the thing on that, Saturday. Like, yeah, at like uh, three o'clock in the morning, uh, I couldn't sleep. I was like, "Okay, let's go some cartoons." Now, coming up next, Tsunami: The Rising Sun, starting off with Sailor Moon, followed by Ronin Kenshin, Damn. then Gundam Wing. I was like, "Oh my god!" That itself explains like the pseudo awesomeness. Of how great Toonami was, like you can't even where what where can you wake up now um, and turn on the TV and see anime at six o'clock in the morning? Funimation Channel. That's about it, and that costs. Netflix. Yeah, that costs some money. Well, no, I'm talking about like turning on the TV, turning on a TV channel and watching anime. If you're lucky, G4. Yeah. Wow. That's, that is to, that is so not to say like waking up at six o'clock in the morning and looking at Sailor Moon. You could have done that with like when UPN thirty three was still around way back in the early or the late nineties and early two thousands. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. Happened. But they showed Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, and then Pokemon, and then the Tex Avery show, and they only had like a two hour cartoon slot. Um, I personally remember uh, my uncle. Taping Toonami for me when I, because my my mom and I did not have the money to afford cable when I was in middle school, so I would have to go to school and listen to everybody be like, "Oh my God, did you see that episode of Dragon Ball Z yesterday? Yeah, Goku and Gohan t- did the father son Kamehameha and they killed Cell. Oh, that was so awesome. That was in middle school. Yeah, the, Dragon Ball Z came on. Like Dragon Ball Z stayed no, on mean, Toonami for years. I mean, that episode. That, I, I remember that episode in high school. Probably because it was a rerun. They showed they showed Dragon Ball, they showed Dragon Ball Z, and then they showed Dragon Ball GT. Uh, uh, I hated that show. Song. It was a hard theme song, and it was funny. In English. <laughs> from anything else. But the the thing about it was, like, I got I got tired of it one day. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go and ask my mom, you know, if we can get cable. I went home and I I said, mom, can we please get cable? And for a long time, she was like, no, 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 no. So for my oh god, what was it? my fifteenth? I think it was my fifteenth birthday. Uh, she says, okay, we're going to get Comcast, and we're going to hook up the TV uh, in a living room with cable. So come a month later, uh, we wound up getting cable in all the rooms. And then I turned on my TV, and the first thing I saw was Teen Titans. I was like, all right, Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network's cool. Cartoon Network's cool. So I'm sitting there watching uh, Teen Titans, and then I didn't realize it was Saturday, and I didn't know that Toonami came on on Saturdays because by the time I got it, it, it only came on Saturdays. And yeah, back in, back in my day, <laughs> it came on around. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to emphasize the my. But back in my day, Toonami came on every weekday around what, like three o'clock? Three o'clock, o'clock yeah. 
I saw a little bit of it on the tapes. They they weren't those really good tapes because Toonami lasted for like like four or five hours. I only got a, yeah. a chance to tape two hours of it. So all I saw was Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, not even Dragon Ball Z because I was earlier. Dra- Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, probably Gundam, uh, 08th MS Team, Car Captors, mm-hmm. and the Big O before it stopped. And then I believe after that was Reboot and Thundercats. Oh, freaking Reboot. I hated Reboot. Hey, Reboot was legit. <laughs> That's what a lot of people were telling me, but I really did not like that show at all. Reboot was legit. And uh, Good show. So when I when I was done watching the tapes, I, I after I didn't need the tapes anymore, that was when I discovered like really great shows that I still love to this day, like t- uh, Teen Titans, Mega Sex LR, Gundam Wing. What else? Uh, this this was like 2005 by this time. So Zatch Kenshin. Bell, yeah, Kenshin, 2004-2005, uh, Kenshin, Zatch Bell, uh, Rave Master, which I really the of a land conquered by evil. evil. Yeah, I actually wanted to finish it, but I, I didn't get a chance to. Duel Masters, and I'm not talking about the Japanese serious version. I'm talking about the English version that made it like a comedy show when it actually wasn't. I I find myself not really liking Duel Masters that much. I don't know. I guess because I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Uh, we got G Gundam, uh, Gundam 0080, probably War in the Pocket. Most likely was War in the Pocket. And I'm missing one. Uh, Batman. And after, Batman a, after a while, Yu Hakusho came on. Yeah, and Yu Yu Hakusho. This, that, Toonami entered a phase, what I like to call, there were the great years, then there was the, uh, okay, this is still good, but they could do better years, and then it entered the, eh, years, were between 2000, like, Mike, do you remember, okay, 2007 and 2008 was really got really, really bad. Um, yeah. You might be able to say 2006 for it, because they showed that piece of shit show with the puppets that was called Woolen Warriors. Hey, I liked Woolen Warriors. Woolen Warriors was so bad that it only lasted for two episodes. It got canceled like, after two episodes. I liked Woolen Warriors. That it, was cool. Dude, it was a it was a puppet string show with special effects and a crappy oh. storyline. It was terrible. Yeah, I, it, the storyline may have been crappy, but the special effects is what, what drew me. Okay, Mike, was dude, like, that, that was the same year that you were in love with playing Dynasty Warriors. So I think that was where that came from. Because it was the same thing almost, just with puppets. Woolen Warriors was crap. I, 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 it was bad, dude. <laughs> it's not fair. It was bad. I can't, say, I can't come up with a comeback to that. Okay, you can't, Woolen Warriors is an English language edited version of the Taiwan made puppet show called Peely. Okay? Mm-hmm. It was taken off the block due to poor ratings. Pretty much. It sucked. It had 13 total episodes. They could have made it so painful for everybody to actually watch the rest of the show, but they t- two episodes before it was taken off the air because it sucked ass. It was just bad. <sighs> that, that, was, that was what I contribute to the fall of Toonami was Woolen Warriors do it, just doing terrible. The Woolen Mines was when they started playing nothing but Nardo 24-7. Well, that's the, because the, I guess they had to take the show with the highest ratings and put it in one of the slots because they only had two hours by the time it ended. Yeah, yeah, but, the, dude, it felt like they were just throwing it down your throat. It's like, Arr! Do you remember the Naruto Rondo <laughs> where they showed nothing but Naruto for 24 hours? <laughs> that point... <laughs> but that was because they were, I think that was because they were going into a new season. Remember, this is all like three or four years ago, so if we're wrong, if we went into a new season, dude. It, they were just throwing it down your throat, and it's just. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, yo, where's my Megas? Where's my freaking, you know. But you can't really say anything about that because you're biased. You never liked Naruto to begin with. So even if they had, know, still, if they had taken it off, if, to watch. if they have taken it off, you wouldn't have cared. They would have been like, Naruto's not on anymore. I would have Yay. rejoiced. Yay, that means they can put something better on. Yeah, like what, Gundam Seed? Gundam yeah. Seed was so boring. <laughs> I, I, I remember Toonami ended for better me. I remember Toonami ended for me when that show came on. They were like, coming up next, it's Gundam Seed. And I'm like, good beep. <laughs> good theme song, but 
it was a talky. It was the scene was talky, but it's still better than age. They had their action scenes. They were just few and far between. I 2006 between 2006 2007 2008 were the years where it was like eh. 2006 Tanami had Woolen Warriors. All right, Pokemon Chronicles. Remember that shit, Pokemon Chronicles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, after a while, I was like, "Holy shit, he's still going." Yeah, it was like, no, it wasn't even about Ash. <laughs> there were like oh, a couple yeah. episodes that were about Ash. It was, it was like, oh, the Japanese said, "Oh, let's go and visit some friends that Ash had a long time ago, and let's see what they're doing now." Nobody cares. Pokemon is not honestly, about their, his friends. It's about Ash Ketchum or whatever he's called, Saito or Sa- Sanji in Japan. I forgot. Red. What Red. <laughs> <laughs> Red. Pokemon Chronicles, oh. Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes. The one with the new Fantastic Four that looked kind of looked like an anime, but it was Canadian. Pokemon Battle Frontier. We don't need to talk about Pokemon Battle Frontier. Yu-Gi-Oh! Did Kuliogo come on? No, nah, uh, it came on Maguzi. Uh, Remember, it was on Maguzi. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Uh, God. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Totally Get on the weird. deck! Get on the deck! <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> That could be mistaken so badly. Hey, it's Japanese singing it. I'm not. <laughs> that's the lyric. That's the actual lyrics for the song. Get on the deck. Get on the deck. <laughs> uh, come on and get your game on. No. It's I'm gonna throw down a face down. Face down. No. I'm setting a card. <laughs> Jake, uh. Oh, so freaking terrible. <laughs> we had Mayor. Mayor. Uh, mm. Mayor, okay, giving up for Mayor one thing. Mayor is the only show out of all the shows out of 2006 that you can actually watch on Netflix. Mayor it was the only show that survived out of all the other shows between 2006, 2007, and 2008 that you can watch on Netflix. That's saying something. That's saying something. The Prince of Tennis. Was in was on 2006. Prince of Tennis was watchable. I have nothing against the Prince. The, I have nothing against tennis as a sport. I don't watch it. I can watch it over golf because golf is so freaking boring hey. to me. I can no seriously. I can watch Prince of Ten, I can watch tennis over golf any day of the week. If you gave me a choice between there are only two sports I could watch before I died, I'd say you know what, let me just watch tennis, women's tennis, yeah. because at least I get to see something move before I go away. But golf, if it was between women's golf and women's tennis, or between women's tennis and men's golf, I choose tennis like a hundred times out of a hundred times. I don't like golf; it's boring to me. It's it, it just is. Look, I'm hitting the ball. Look. I'm walking towards the ball. Look, I'm hitting the ball again. <laughs> it's worse than NASCAR. I'm, I'm making a, a left turn. I'm making another, another left, left turn. turn. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite part of NASCAR? When they make a left turn. 2006. President Thomas was the last show that came out in 2006. Hey, Mike, you want to know what new shows they added in 2007? Uh. Stormhawks. <laughs> Stormhawks. Remember the guys that rode the motorcycles that could fly? And the, the synopsis yeah. sounds like it should be cool. The show wasn't that bad. It was just, eh, it wasn't consistent. It would be great one episode, and then it would suck. Like it was boring. Really, really boring. And yeah. Mega Man Star Force. When the kid, like the, that, that really bad attempt that they tried to revive Mega Man in the United States. After, uh, I think they showed Battle Network here. I can't remember. Um, Have we gotten to Megas yet? No, Megas. No, th- that Megas was during the good years. Megas um, is during the good years. This is 2006, 2007, to 2008. And then 2008, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Uh, <laughs> you see, this, this is the reaction that most people had for the three years before it died. It was, uh, all right, eh, eh. Uh, maybe this year will be better. Back on Battle Brawlers. Uh, uh, wow, really, guys? Blue Dragon. <laughs> Blue, Dra- <laughs> Blue Dragon didn't suck. The yeah. dub killed it. The dub sucked. Yeah. It was a terrible dub. And then you knew when it was dead when they started adding shows that were already on Cartoon Network. Ben 10 Alien Force made it on Toonami. Ben 10 friggin' Alien Force. 
Okay. Yeah. No, that was that. That was that was when it died. That was in 2008. It it ended September 20, 2008, and that just fucking killed it. Now, um, that was the bad years. Hey, Mike, you want to go through the good years? 2002 between 2002 and 2005. All right. So the first thing I'm. The, Yay. <laughs> Yay. The first thing I'm going to, uh, the first show I'm going to say, you're probably going to be like, eh, okay, that wasn't that bad. But it, it was between 2002 and 2005. Hamtaro. Um, yes. Yeah, I didn't like Hamtaro. I uh, love Hamtaro. Classic Zoids, which was any Zoids before, uh, God, what's that show called? Mike, you know better than I do. You watch Zoids. Um, oh, the, um. Uh, you see, it's, it, it was like five, it, seven years ago. I don't even remember so anymore. It's been like nine years that, ago. What was that piece of trash? I think it started with a Z. Zoid's Zoid Legacy? Zoid. I, I don't even remember. Some- chaotic Century. Oh. It was Zoid's Chaotic Century. That yeah. was that. That was that was the um, the Zoid's classic with Zoid's Chaotic Century. And then it was Zoid's New Century Zero. That's, that's what that was. That's what I was, that's uh, what I was saying, the Zero. G Gundam, Awesome. Anybody who says yeah. G Gundam sucks deserves to be punched in the throat and then kicked in the nuts so they can't move or breathe. He Man and the Masters of the Universe that was put there for people who like were grown because <laughs> you and I both don't remember the original He Man. Our parents might. I don't remember the original He Man, and I have Boomerang and I still don't watch it. I never really got into it. Maybe maybe that was the um because they did make a newer one. Yeah, I think that was the one that was in two thousand two. My bad. If it is, then my bad. But I think it was the one that was made in 2002 because it was Masters of the Universe. I think the original He-Man was just called He-Man. Transformers Armada, choke me now. I hated Transformers Armada. Waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go catch the bus and, and being like, oh, maybe Duel Masters is on. Transformers Armada. I'm like, no. Which was like a trashy one where they had to go around to the different worlds and race. Yeah. And the only person who won was Bumblebee. She was a sports car. That's freaking terrible, yo. Transformers, Transformers Armada. There were sequels too. Um, damn it! What was it called? Transformers Energon, uh, and then Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise. I think. Yeah, and there were, there was one where they did have to go race. Oh, that was so stupid. And the only one who won was Bumblebee. Yeah, four or five episode arcs where they just race around the planet. <laughs> G.I. Joe, uh, the original. No, that. The original, 1985. No, no, no. I, I like that was hard. the American that hero. Was hard. The, I can't say anything bad about G.I. Joe. <laughs> it was. Ooh, I, oh, my God. I remember that so much. The reason, honestly, I never saw a G.I. Joe until I was in the hospital. Like, seriously? You had to be in the hospital uh, to watch G.I. Joe, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was in the hospital, and I'm sitting there laying in the hospital bed, and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't sleep. Click. Yo, Joe! I'm like, what the hell is this? Whenever G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe, real American hero. hero. G.I. I'm like, yo, that is... I'm looking at this, I'm like... In pain. They play that for, I think, two hours straight, because that's how gangster it was. Yes. All right, we had G.I. Joe in 2000. This is all 2002. The last show for 2002, Samurai Motherfucking Jack. Samurai Jack, Mike. Do I have to say it again? Samurai no, Jack, no, Mike. Samurai Jack. One of the most Jack, epic no, no, no. shows I have oh ever seen. I own the first season. Uh, man, I haven't gotten it yet. Not oh, great. I, I really. the second or third. I enjoyed it so much. Much. Gennady Tartakovsky remains to this day one of the most influential animators in my lifetime. He made Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls, the American Powerpuff Girls, and Samurai hey. Jack. I don't even know how to start by talking about Samurai Jack because I'll probably go off on a tangent. So I'm just going to say it was awesome. If yeah. you haven't seen it, just, just sit down in a chair and watch it. <clears throat> or we'll go, find go you. On you. It's like Stride. <laughs> You know, go on YouTube, go on Hulu, whatever you have to do, watch it. And if you don't, and you say Samurai Jack sucks, we will find you. It's like Stry Gum. Watch but, the first no, no, episode it, of Samurai no, no, Jack. No, no. You will get a, you will get a phone call. I don't even know this person. You will get a phone call. I'll be like, Taken. I will find you, <laughs> and I will kill you. And there is no good luck. <laughs> I will find you, and I will kill you. 
2003. Now we're entering into the one of Mike's favorite years. Sort of. No, wait, wait. I think 2004 might have been your favorite year. No, no, it was 2003. Die Hack Sign came out in 2003. Yes. I'm just going to go off and say I have never really been a fan of the Dot Hack series. I have the yeah. box set of Dot Hack Roots in my house for collector reasons because it's worth over $100. I don't own any other Dot Hack series other than that. So uh, I do, I will admit though, I will watch Dot Hack for the music alone. Because Yuki Kaijura is a freaking genius. Uh, yes, she, did, she, she, she did the music for Subasa oh and Scrap Princess and My Hime. She did the music mm-hmm. for all those. If you've seen, if you if you watch an anime and you hear a chorus that sounds like it should be orchestrated and it's kind of operatic and there's violins and you're like, wow, yeah, it's most likely y- Yuki, uh, Yuki Kaijura. It's really, really that good. Is, that that woman is a musical genius. I swear to God, I, literally. I never got bored of the of the songs when when I when I was either playing the Dot Hack games or I was watching it on Toonami because oh my god they were so good. Yeah, man. Like I think like oh man, it, it, open open your heart, open your heart, reprise the world. Oh my god. Dot Hack did Dot Hack did have some really good. Op- I don't I don't remember if they played the openings uh, in the United States though. Oh cool. They did. Um, they, they played they played Signs. They played Roots. I don't remember. They played Twilight. Yeah. One of my um one of my favorite series, Martian Successor Nadesco. Uh, <laughs> I never really got a chance to watch. I, it, I've seen two episodes. It's a really really good series from what I can tell. It's 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 one of those '90s anime series where. Some of the anime that came out in the 90s, I think Mike and I were spared from most of the really shitty stuff um, because our favorite year is uh, 90s anime. There's so yeah. much 90s anime in our house, man. <laughs> it's like, do you have anything from the 80s? I have something from 1990. That's not the 80s. It's really close to the 80s. It's like the closest thing I have to the 80s is City Hunter. That's pretty much it. It's City Hunter. Uh, Jones, Everything else is 90s. Jones. Jones. Get your chance to be here today. <laughs> oh, man, I wish they showed that on Tsunami. I can go off on that all day. Uh, Gigantor, which Gigantor is part of Giant Robot Week. Uh, not really much to look f- uh, go into oh, with Giant Robot no, Week. Re- you remember um, the one time when they showed Die Guard on Giant Robot Week? Yeah. Two episodes of Die Guard. Die Guard could have survived on that. They also showed Neon Genesis Evangelion on Tsunami. Yeah. Censored beyond belief. Where they sh- I, I, showing, um, uh, God, man, what's her name? I always forget the purple haired chick's name. Misato. I think her name's Misato. I'm not sure. Showed her taking a bath with a swimsuit on. Censored, <laughs> censored, taking a bath. Yeah, like four kids censored. Where's a, where's a swimsuit in the bathtub? Come on, man. TVY Seven Evangelion. I'm so glad that never survived. That would have been freaking terrible. You Hakusho Show premiered in 2003. One of, if yeah. not the best shonen anime series of all time. Roni Kenshin premiered in 2003. I don't think we need to go into Roni Kenshin if you. Don't know what Roni Kenshin is. I don't even know what to say to you. Justice League, awesome at American mm-hmm. animation. Cyborg 009, eh, I didn't really watch too much of that. Uh, Gundam SD, terrible. Friggin' terrible bad show. Mike, if you think Gundam Age is bad, somebody should, putting you to Gundam death. Gundam Age. Gundam Age. There is no, there are no Gundams that can cast magic. Okay. I was gonna say, I would watch. There's no Gundam Mage. Excuse me for a moment. (laughs) I have to go find this. I'll be back in about twenty-two minutes, in about a minute or so. I'm gonna be like, okay, Gundam Mage. Ah, here it is. It's exactly what it sounds like. Oh Mm. my. Oh God. Gundam Gundam SD was terrible. It was basically chibi cell shaded Gundam sucked. Oh, I heard that. That was eh. IGPX, the micro series. Oh, no, not the not the not the racing. The micro series where it oh. was the fighting robots. Instead, they weren't racing. They were just fighting on the battlefield. Uh, Dragon Ball GT. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it, uh, I think it was. No, Dragon Ball GT came later. I believe it was Dragon Ball Z. If so, if it was Dragon Ball Z on Toonami, Toonami I don't think would be what it was without Dragon Ball Z. I am not a big Dragon Ball fan by any means. I have not seen all of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT, nor do I have an interest to watch all of that. 
but I give Dragon Ball Z its props because uh, it is a very yeah. entertaining show. I just don't have, yeah. I just don't want to buy all of that. Like, like if you want to see someone get punched through a mountain, that's your show to watch. Star Wars Clone Wars. Um, Star Wars Clone Wars actually is a pretty good show. It's still Funny. going. Yeah, it's still going. It survived off of Toonami. Like, when Toonami ended, people thought, oh, my God, Star Wars Clone Wars, it, it, it's, it's not going to be on anymore. And then it came on, like, the next month. It was like, Star Wars Clone Wars is back. And you're like, oh, what the heck? Where did, you can cancel Toonami, but you didn't bring Star Wars Clone uh, but you brought Star Wars Clone Wars back. A lot of people really didn't like that. Um, 2004, Mike. Going to run through this. Duel Masters. Eh, good dub, but the show itself, if you don't know what Duel Masters is, eh, you probably wouldn't find I'm much interest in that. The original Astro Boy, once again, eh, didn't really watch that. Um, Transformers Energon, Mike, did you did, did, did you watch Transformers Energon? I didn't. I have never watched a Transformers oh, series. Jackie Chan Adventures. You can't, yeah, you can't say anything bad know, about Jackie Chan Adventures. No, <laughs> Jackie, no, Jackie no, Chan no, Adventures no. was awesome. I, I watched that. I watched that like a boss every day. Uh, I forgot what my favorite talisman was. Mine was Rat. Gives power to it inanimate really objects. Works? Yeah, no, it gives power to inanimate oh. objects. Oh, that was awesome. I think I like the. I think I like the invisibility one. Snake. Yeah. Oh, that was that was so good. This is watching uh, Snake and Dragon. That that came on Kids WB. Then yeah. they put it on Tsunami later, and then they actually they, it actually finished. And you could watch all of Jackie Chan Adventures on Netflix. Oh my God! If you like Jackie Chan, you know, screw that. Even if you don't like Jackie Chan, go watch Jackie Chan Adventures. That that cartoon shows the bomb. It's so freaking awesome. Yes, it was. Uh, Gundam Seed. Once again, I'm going to reiterate. I did not like Gundam Seed. I love me some I like Gundam. The you, okay, the opening, yes. I'm not talking about Pride. I'm talking about the first one. Because I don't think oh. it lasted to Pride. I think Toonami... No, it, did. it did? It lasted to Pride. Oh, wow. I could never watch Gundam Seed. It even came on... Um, Seed Destiny, I think, came on Sci-Fi. And I don't know how it did there, but I remember what, I remember seeing it on Sci-Fi. But I just never could get into it. It was, it was kind of boring to me. It was uh, too talky. The only thing I remember from Sci-Fi was Any Jedi. Any Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, oh, the clip, really, man? Really? And Megas XLR, 2004. Okay. God, Megas- that is the, the best show of that entire year. The best show, I believe, ever came on Toonami was a tie between Megas, Roni Kenshin, Sam- and Yu Yu Hakusho. What about Samurai Jack? Um, when you put Yu Yu Hakusho, Roni Kenshin, and Megas XLR against Samurai Jack, I'm going to have to choose... The three. I'm, I'm going to have to uh, choose Megas. Uh, for me, I think it's Samurai Jack, Megas, and Yu Yu Show. Man, if, I, if you haven't seen Megas, um, long story short, uh, middle-aged, uh, 20, a guy in his 20s, I think that's what they said Grease later. Monkey. Yeah, Grease Monkey. Really- total slacker. Um, finds a giant robot. Yeah, pimps it out. Puts his car on top of it and proceeds to kick alien butt. That is the shortest version that I can put on, that that I can give it to you. Giant robot, car on top of his head, kicks alien butt. Loves video games. And that's pretty much out. it. Yes, that's that's pretty much with, it. With nothing but video games. It's so awesome. Brave Master. I, I'm actually looking forward to finishing the rest of that whenever I get my hands on it. Teen Titans. If you haven't seen Teen Titans, watch Teen Titans. It's actually very, very, and very, very good show. I didn't really care for Teen Titans. You didn't like Teen Titans. What the heck? No. What? No, I, I did not care for Teen Titans that much. I don't know what to say to you. You didn't <laughs> like Teen Titans? What? Oh, man. That's no. terrible. No. Justice League Unlimited? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I was like... <laughs> Teen Titans, I couldn't... Like, I, could really, I couldn't really relate to any characters. You're not supposed to relate to any characters in the freaking Teen well, Titans. I couldn't, find, I couldn't find a character that I liked. Put it like that. Cyborg. Nope. Beast Boy. Didn't really care for him. Raven. Eh. Starfire? She was obnoxious and annoying. Starfire was obnoxious and annoying. Do you remember who Starfire was? Starfire was the orange chick. Starfire was the one that was with purple with long red hair that could shoot green shit out of her hands. Yeah, and she's always like, oh, friendship is like the... I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, if, I want to hear about, if I want to hear somebody talk about friendship, I listen to Taya from Yu-Gi-Oh! for about 25 minutes. 
Not even Robin? No. Oh. I don't like Robin. It's all about Batman. Oh, my God. It was the Teen Titans, man. <laughs> if you want to watch Batman in a Teen Titans show, now you can watch Young Justice. He's in every other episode. That actually would have thrived on Toonami. Young Justice is the shit. Um, oh, my God. I don't... Man, friendship just got punched in the gut right now. Dice, 2005 now, 2005. Dice, terrible, didn't like it, hated it, sucked ass. Mike, do you remember Dice? What? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Zatch Bell, it's the box, man. (laughs) Honestly, I I didn't, at first, I didn't really like Zatch Bell. Me neither. I still don't. No, I still don't like Zatch Bell. <laughs> it's like, what did I like oh, about I Zatch Bell? Like... Hmm. I don't like anything about no. Zatch Bell. <laughs> no. You have no redeemable qualities. No. You just the suck. I from Zatch Bell was Zakuga. The all right. Um, That's it. Batman, and I'm not talking about Batman the animated series, probably the best superhero show of all time. I'm talking about the Batman. That was actually pretty funny. The Batman was was actually not that bad, but it didn't last. I, I enjoyed it. It did. The, I I enjoyed the Batman. It got better um, during the later seasons, but it just yeah. Uh, I like how they gave um, Joker like a like this black voice, and it, it, he just he just made it sound so funny. He could do Capoeira. In that show. No, no, like, That's the only thing I remember, that the Joker do, yeah. could do Capoeira in the Batman. That's what I remember, yeah. that the, yeah, I remember that the that. Joker no, was badass. Like I'm a, the, the Joker, he, I like that voice. Like, oh, Okay, it's, it's like this. Mark Hamill's Joker, and then the Batman's Joker, and then everything else I couldn't care less for. It was actually a pretty serious show. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, it, 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 they, I thought they were like, it's not Batman the Brave and the Bold, which freaking Brave and the Bold was like, oh, Batman can be colorful and lighthearted. Batman's not supposed to be colorful and lighthearted. It's a freaking Batman. It's supposed to be dark, brooding, putting the scare in his criminals until they pee their pants, and then he beats them up while laughing at them because he peed their pants. <laughs> oh, wait, well, not even that, because Batman doesn't laugh. A man that doesn't laugh can't be in the Brave of the Bold. Oh, my God. No, just don't even get me started on the Brave of the Bold. I hated that show. He, he, he just, all Batman does is just troll by smiling. Exactly. And, and then he'll crack jokes every now and then. He doesn't laugh, but he smiles. Yeah. Because he's Batman. One Piece. Yeah. One Piece, yeah. Just, dude, some of the shows that, that I say, I can't even really talk about anything because they're still going. <laughs> you can't say it was a good series because One Piece has just entered the halfway point of its entire existence. So you, uh, Transformers Cybertron sucked. Terrible. This, I don't like any Transformers of the new generation. They just, just they, they bore me. The original Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Attention, duel. I can't really hate Yu-Gi-Oh because it gave us Yu-Gi-Oh the Bridge series. <laughs> so I, can't, I can't really hate on Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't like the English dub that much. It didn't make any sense. Uh, four kids really butchers things, but the the Bridge version makes more sense than the actual series, in my opinion. Um, ooh. Naruto. <laughs> there already. I did not finish the original Naruto. I didn't. It's 220 episodes long. I've probably seen like maybe 115. I did not care for the original Naruto. Bo 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 hated that show. What? Hated it. Okay, uh, actually, I'll, I'll give you that one. For a while, I didn't like it either, but then I actually sat down and watched it because I was bored and had nothing else to do. And it you could have not watched Bobo Bo. <laughs> no, it was actually pretty funny. <laughs> you might have watched one episode. I did not like it. It made no sense. I could not watch that show. It was probably funny in some areas, but I just could not survive watching that show. It, it, it's, it's like... It's like you know how uh, you remember how they how they um, uh, in Dragon Ball Z how they told somebody how to watch people fighting at high speeds where you kind of have to just be staring into like blank space and then you'll have, and after about a couple seconds you'll start to see things go happening yeah and stuff like that okay it's kind of like that you sit down and then you just stare at Bobo like it's a blank space and then you'll just start laughing. 
Ugh, I, could, I couldn't do it. Last one, Mike. IGPX. The actual racing series. Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. The one that got... The one that got took off of Toonami and, yeah, uh, <laughs> and put off uh, right before a win because of all the cursing. Friday at midnight. Beats. Dude, he slapped him. Punk ass bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. That, uh, that series was, was awesome. Team Feldstein. That show was three kinds of awesome, wrapped in awesome sauce, it put with awesome candles, lit on fire, and exploded with awesome dynamite and more awesome. Just... Epic. I love that show. Pieces of shards of awesome that <laughs> that went into your body. <laughs> Making so, you awesome for watching it. And, awesome. <laughs> it enhanced you with its awesomeness. You stared at it and you became more awesome by watching it. <laughs> your awesomeness has increased. <laughs> <laughs> you oh feel a bond God. forming with IGPX. <laughs> yeah. IGPX, the, uh, the Indoragamano. I think it was so cool. Who gives a super move to a robot? That it's a It's a freaking... Robot that can go up to speeds of 400 miles per hour that has a super move. How do you beat that? If you want to find out, watch that. GP. <laughs> I don't know, but the Tommy did. Unfortunately, though, the second season has not come out yet, and I really want that. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> There's a Japanese version of it if you want to try and find it um, for, for IGPX because it was Japanese. But... Yeah. Just yeah. the the English that came on in America was really well done. It actually had actors on it that never were in anime before. Like these people were from TV shows um, that came on like different channels, and I, I don't I don't even really know what to say. But it, it was a the production was managed by William Street, the same people who do Adult Swim, and yeah. Bang Zoom edited it. Like the people that did uh, Gab Guard and and the all the shell. Ghosts in the Shells, yeah, they they actually took this thing. It was a um, it was actually a really big deal. Like B Train was the one that did the animation, and B Train did the animation for all those Girls with Guns series. Like it did the it did the Dot Hack Twilight, I think. Dot Hack Twilight show. It, El Cazador de la Bruja, Mad Lax, all those animations. It did the. Uh, yeah, Mike, I know Mad Lax. It did all the animations for those. So it was really. It was, it was a pretty big deal, but it was a really, really, really good show. Your, in your opinion, Toonami meant a lot to a lot of people. It, especially you and I, like, we were really, really, really sad when it ended. I, for one, remember the exact place and time I was when Toonami ended. I was sitting in my room watching it and eating dinner. I was, I remember what I was eating. I was eating, I was eating a pork chop and rice with spinach. I remember exactly what I was eating because I remember when Toonami ended and I was like, oh, what the heck is going on? It says, well, it's been a fun ride, everybody. And I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, wait, no. It was like, it's been a fun ride, everybody. We're leaving now. I'm like, no, 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 you cannot be serious. And the food fell out of my mouth. (laughs) I'm back onto the plate and Toonami ended and I'm like, no. Ah, I remember that too, dude. Uh, I remember I was eating hamburger helper at the time. Always, and, like I always am. Like I always. always am. <laughs> and honestly, when I saw that, and freaking uh, Tom just flew off, and all, you, and you hear the bang at the end. Yeah, I swear, dude. It's it, like you'd have to play the clip from Star Wars where Darth Vader was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> In order to 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 get that feeling of how I felt, do you? Oh I, I, I yeah, I was too. I I can't I, I can't even really fathom. Like I, for the longest time, I could not understand why it was canceled. I didn't really have a good understanding of TV how TV worked at the time. Uh, there's so many theories, so many underlying theories about why Tsunami was taken off the air. One theory is that I I was canceled. Don't say Naruto. No. It's a conspiracy. It's, you know, that was one of the theories. <laughs> it's a conspiracy to make Toonami uh, go down, like, in ratings so that they could put so much good stuff on it later that it could rise back up and overtake Disney. At that time, there was no Disney XD. It was just Disney. Overtake Disney and Nickelodeon, which by at, at that time still had Nicktoons, so, you know, good luck with that. But uh, that was one of the theories. The other theory was that Naruto 
had come on and they hadn't edited it enough so that parents couldn't stop complaining that there was too much violence um uh on late hours you know for the for children to watch it it, it came on at like seven o'clock by the time it finished and it was that and dragon ball z that people were having a problem with oh all, look at all this violence on television these there are people getting um bones broken and, and punched into the ground and all this other stuff and all like the 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 parents' television council did so many protests. They were like, they need to take it off the air. And when you take off one of your highest rated shows, you take it off the air. And, you know, what do you have? You, your highest rated shows off, what, what do you have? Nobody's going to watch it anymore. That, that, that was, that, those are some of the theories I've heard. Another theory is that um, Stuart Snyder uh, took over control of the, that block for Cartoon Network. Yeah, that's one that I heard. Yeah, and he took. He did not like it. He didn't like he, Tsunami. He's like, oh, anime's dead. Anime's dead in America. So why should why are we why do we have anime on television? Even though I think uh, Tsunami was probably one of their highest rated blocks in Cartoon Network history, and then they cancel it because this guy is like, well, anime's dead. We shouldn't have it anymore. So just take it off. I but. I think that you and I both agree that when Toonami left Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network became shit. It became yeah. freaking terrible. They, no, no, like they put shit like Flapjack on. <laughs> at, you, at least Flapjack is a cartoon, Mike. At least Flapjack is a cartoon. Okay, I'll, I'll get it right. I'll give you that. Because as of right now, all they're showing is like reality TV shows. I'm like, it, it's How not you, even Cartoon Network anymore. You, you know what should just be? Network. Exactly. Like how do you or, how do you call Cartoon or, Network? No, no, no. They should change it to the Live Action Network. How do you call Cartoon Network Cartoon Network when you're showing live action stuff on there? It's the Cartoon Network. I. Uh, you don't see Funimation Channel putting on stuff from Jenny on. Or wait, actually, yeah, you do because they own they they bought some stuff from Jenny on. But you don't see Funimation Channel putting on stuff from freaking uh, Sentai Filmworks. High School of the Dead doesn't come on Funimation Channel because it's not Funimation. Yeah, it's like Cartoon Network. Cartoon, I walked into GameStop. Um, earlier to uh, this week, and I looked at their TV that they have in uh, they're, they're broadcasting games, and they're like Level Up coming soon to Cartoon Network, and they have a countdown timer, and it's a live action show, and I'm like, oh, no, man, it's, it's so stupid. Uh, uh, like it's like they're just trying to kill our childhood. <laughs> it's too late for that. <laughs> it's got, my childhood flew away with Tom into the sunset when it ended on September 20th, yes. 2008, at 11 o'clock at night. That's when that's when my childhood ended. I was a man. I was a man on September 21st, 2008. I had, yes. I had a beard. <laughs> I, I was, already had the beard, the mustache, and everything, but I was still a kid. I was ready to go. Ever ever since Tom, when Tom flew away, it's like he took that child, he ripped the childhood out of me, took it with me, flew off into the sunset, and then my voice dropped and my balls got. <laughs> okay, oh, walked into my mom's room. Mom, we need to have a discussion. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Tsunami just ended. Therefore, I am now a man. <laughs> Do you think that Toonami should come back? Or have people moved on from it, in your opinion? What, what do you think? Huh. Do you think, that, do you think me... that they should bring Toonami back in its former glory during the daytime, or at least with a 9 p.m.? to? Uh, well, they can't do that because freaking Adult Swim is on now. So do you think they should bring it back with a 7 to 11 what? time slot and just bring the anime back? Okay, then I'm... I'm... I guess I'm 50-50 on it because, I mean, it, it's been so long since it's last been on that I honestly don't really care anymore. But if if um they do bring it back, it'll give me a reason to start watching TV again, like cable again, because that way I'm like, ooh, Toonami, you know, bring back some some old classic shows, uh, put on some new ones, yeah. That's yeah, you think it should, you think it should come back? Fifty uh, fifty. All right, my I think I think that it should come back. Uh, there are a lot of people that I know that don't want it to come back, and some of them their their reason is I don't want it to come back because. That was during my childhood. I'm kind of done with it. You know, it was great while it lasted, but what happened happened, and it's gone now. Um, other people say 
I wanted to come back because I really love Toonami. You know, Toonami wasn't just shows. Toonami was the whole presentation. It was Tom. It was Sarah. It was the ship. It was the music. Ah, the absolution. Yeah, it, it was the music. It was the intros to each show. It was the promos. It was the bumps. It was just the whole entire package that it gave the viewer. You know, uh, the the promo for a show that you hadn't seen before that was coming up. You're like, oh, I can't wait for this. The intro for the show. Um, that's coming on Toonami, you know, there are people that to this day still make anime that never came on Toonami. They, they make fan-made Toonami intros for it, even though they know it never has a chance of coming on Toonami because it was just that good. It left that much of an impression. I, 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 I for one, I miss it. I miss the whole. I, I miss the whole waking up and or or just coming home and watching. You know, good anime. Good television is hard to find these days, like especially when it comes to anime and cartoon related stuff. There, you can't really. You know, there aren't that many good shows on on various networks. I think that if it came back, give it a four hour time slot. Put some good shows on there, and Cartoon Network. Don't take it in a back alley where nobody can see you and knife it in the kidneys again and leave it on a trash heap like you did the first time. Let it let it thrive. Don't play promotions for freaking CN Real while Tsunami's coming on. Worst idea ever. CN Real's terrible. Just take it off. That that does it for the Tsunami podcast. Please, uh, people, comment in the comment box. Um, I'm not trying to you know strangle anybody for the comments, but it really helps when people comment in the comment box because then we know how we're doing. Or if you don't want to comment in the comment box, at least throw us a you know a shout out on our page on Anime Two Thousand. Uh, I mean, sorry, Anime Two Thousand dot com slash Two Guys in a Mic. And uh, stay tuned for our Spice and Wolf review, in which we'll be covering. <laughs> Wow. In which we'll be covering Spice and Wolf, the first season. There's a two-parter, Spice and Wolf Part 1, Season 1, and then Spice and Wolf Part 2, which covers Season 2. So this is Jameer Durham. Michael Martinez. Signing out. Stay cool, everybody. Well, this is the end, beautiful friends. After more than 11 years, this is Toonami's final broadcast. It's been a lot of fun. And we'd like to thank each and every one of you who've made this journey with us. Tsunami wouldn't have been anything without you. Hopefully, we've left you with some good memories. So, until we meet again, stay gold.